really enjoy. I haven't been here the whole time uh, in DMA specifically, uh, but I've had a had a blast every time that I come here. So thank you, everybody. It's been great. And in commemoration of that, we'll have the following two weeks be cake competitions. So we'll be doing cake, different types of cake, of course, for the next two weeks. Um, hey, Farmer Mitchell, what's your favorite cake? You know, I was thinking about this yesterday after we decided that we were going to talk about our favorite kind of cakes. And I, I do think that mm -hmm. my favorite kind of cake is coffee cake, but I'm not 100% sure if that actually counts as cake or if that's like a pastry oh, at this point. Good choice. So, <laughs> but I do love coffee cake. So that's what I'm going to go with. That's great. Uh, Bulkner, what do you like? Germ German chocolate. Mm. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Okay. S uh, Sage, what do you think? I, I I'm tempted to say something funny like bunt cake, but I actually like okay. angel food cake. Oh wow, cool! So last one, ninja surprise. What do you like? Diabetic. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was gonna be, I'm, I'm offended. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I would say like um you know just like a plain vanilla cake to be fair. Okay, I I think you know this is something controversial for our US audience, but I'm Chilean. And we hate U.S. cakes, <laughs> like so much cream, and you know, like we have some great cakes here. So anyone come here, you'll be pleasantly surprised by cakes. Uh, we have some you people a thousand thousand leaves. Uh, I think everyone loves that. A thousand leaves, like leaves yeah, on a tree. It's like uh, layers. Sorry, maybe a thousand layers would be the best way to describe it. Okay, it's, uh, pretty good. So, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for uh, a year of AMAs. Um, so cake for the next two competitions will have more de details uh, soon. Um, beyond that, I just want to take a minute to address a couple things. So um, these two weeks of cake is not isolated. We'll keep bringing back other metas. We're, we will mix in jewelry competitions here and there. Uh, but um, expect a lot, of, a lot of previous metas coming back in the coming months. Uh, we have some exciting content in the line for jewelry too, but we also want you guys to use your older NFTs and you know uh, be comfortable with, with metas that you have uh, experienced before, with some twists, of course. Uh, we're also putting extra focus in the following weeks on finish up, finish up certain features, uh, more details with full soon. Bug fixes, bringing back all remaining content from Downstar Legacy and solving any issues with the NFTs that have already been ported. This will not affect priorities for the following, which is mobile and FDUE. Those things are too important for us. But we are putting a uh, kind of break into some other things that we had in the pipeline so we can focus solely on uh, fixing some of the issues that you guys have reported. Um, uh, for example, we delivered the Firebirds last week. I think that was greatly received. So we are moving on with that uh, for other things. I know we have Haunted Maze box and a couple more things. Uh, so expect us to keep delivering on that front in the following week. Then next up, uh, you guys may know that Comic-Con is going on right now, Comic-Con 22 degree in San Diego. Uh, so Gala is present there. We have a, uh, we have a big presence. Right there. So a lot of people from the company there. And this is a big marketing effort, not only for Townser, but for everybody in the company. So uh, all the projects. So expect new players uh, co coming into Discord. So please. Be kind, be helpful uh, to help them get started. And uh, if you can teach them, you know, the basics or redirect to any uh, anything we have regarding uh, this is how you can start. It. This is how you are gas positive. Those kind of things are super helpful uh, for everybody. Now, something you may really like with this is that in commemoration of Comic Con, we're doing special discounts in the store, so uh, you get. 30% discount, uh, discount in anything that's three months or older, and 50% uh, discount in anything that's six months and older. And to get that discount, you got to use the coupon SDCC23. Uh, other products in the company also have discounts or promotions, so please check the store, uh, check the site, and uh, check what other products are doing because there's a lot of cool things going on. And this will be active until Mon Monday, 11 a.m. PST, and it's already available. So if you go 
and use that coupon, you should be able to redeem that right now. Uh, if you guys attend that, uh, just be aware that uh, there's a pack of NFTs from all Gala projects for people who are attending there. There's also an event in a, in a brewery in the area. Uh, so if you're there, you got to scan, scan some QR, QR or something, and you'll get a pack of NFTs. And uh, as a Townstar team, uh, Townstar team, we added one cool item that we'll talk about soon for people who are present there in the Comic Con. Um, Sage, do you want to talk about the schedule? There's anything to share there? I just popped it up there. Um, it's at the Mission Brewery, and we started yesterday. Had an event uh, today, noon to four. You go there. Uh, there's beers. There's tacos. I think get to play some of the latest games. Not Town Star, but uh, you get to play uh, Spider Tanks if you want. Uh, Last Expedition. They've got a new build there. Tweety's got a build there. And then also Mirandis. There's also a couple of mobile games set up for people to play. Uh, I believe, what do we got? Dragon Strike, Meow Match, Champions Arena, and uh, Eternal Paradox, I think, as well. Um, why not Townstar? Uh, just room and space, yeah, room and space. It's uh, uh, the read, and, and people are like, well, what do you mean? Why don't you get enough space? Well, actually, we got this location because if you guys know the actor stripe is going on in Hollywood, and as that started coming up, a lot of uh, movie studios started pulling out, movie and entertainment studios started pulling out of Comic-Con. And so literally about 14 days ago, we got that note that there's some space available, panel space available, so we just jumped on it. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's that's going on there. It's at Mission Brewery. I don't, I didn't get the link for that. Let me just see if we can find that uh, real quick. If you guys want to go out and join, join in the fun, Check out some people. I know uh, Bitbender is going to be there. Um, who else? A, a couple people from Last Expedition team. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun time. So go get some free food uh, and have it enjoy yourself. Awesome. Thank you for that. So yes, uh, check that out. Check the store. Use the coupon. It's only on Monday, very early. So um, in terms of that, and um, if you're in the area, just try to grab that uh, pack of NFTs. Uh, Farmer Mitchell, what's next? Oh, we've made it to the point where I need to remind everybody to turn your town into gala. That does end September 15th or so. So if you have not yet burnt your town that's in your wallet into gala, get on that. Get it done. Uh, let's move on to any social media updates. Ninja Surprise, you got anything you want to talk about? Yeah, I want to start sharing that Zealy leaderboard because we've been having some really fire memes coming out. So um, I've been seeing, you know, some community members putting in a lot of hard work. So I want to, you know, give them some recognition. Uh, but yeah, we've had uh, in the top three right here, Druff, uh, Solus, and Zaihan. Uh, so, yeah, I've been seeing some really cool content being produced by you guys. And, you know, if you haven't checked out a Zealy board yet, you know, be sure to do that. Um, I actually am going to be putting out a, a link very soon for, you know, anybody that wants to claim 50 for just attending today. Uh, you can get 50 Zealy XP for attending the AMA. Um, additionally, you know, I want to um, encourage a little competition with the memes here. Uh, because I've been seeing some really cool ones from you guys. And uh, right now, uh, I'm going to try to do a little weekly uh, vote for the top NFTs that I uh, personally like. And uh, right now, you know, I just started this today. So the XP for what exactly? Uh, we're going to be basically deciding about like what we are going to be uh, putting out for it. So right now it's a secret, uh, but we are pretty much like working on something for that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to basically put in uh, a vote right now for the top uh, between these top four memes of the week, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, then other than that, um, yeah, uh, the other thing that I posted was, I posted this a couple of days ago, but we have a little comic panel that was done. Uh, something cool is really going to be coming by and uh, something really super, and Pablo is going to be telling us a little bit about that later. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's all that we have for social media. Awesome. Thank you. That Zeely leaderboard is super cool. I can't wait to see all the different memes that come up out of that. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely really awesome. Where are we here? I lost. I just my shared page. a quick uh, 
quick image there as they're getting, uh, this is part of the getting Comic-Con set up yesterday in the brewery. Just give you a little bit of sense of the atmosphere. Uh, all the stuff that the events and put up on the wall, the nice systems that they set up. Oh, that looks super cool. Wish I was there. And tacos. Tacos. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to game updates with Musashi. Hey, yeah. Oh, it's weird that you guys call me Musashi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, on Twitter, I, I always have my name, so. Uh, yeah, so game updates this week uh, were released uh, a couple times, and we have uh, a bunch of fixes. So uh, we need some general server optimizations. Um, there was a mismatch of stars uh, in town and in the leaderboard that that's been fixed. There are further optimizations coming for that, though. Uh, there was a bunch of issues with non-stacking uh, buffs in uh, warehouse, demo warehouse and spring storehouse, and a couple other things. And we fixed a bunch of priority issues, like, for example, tomato crop, Copper panel slide and silver panel slide. The 3 d gem works. Uh, NFT had an issue with its units. Now it's corrected. It has three units. The arcane, arcane ring price reduction issue was fixed, and um, we added more mobile optimizations. So, for example, camera panning while user while using placement tool. Um, uh, expect uh, mobile uh, more mobile optimizations very soon. And regarding additions, so uh, we added, uh, so we did some changes to the foundry and Smith's, the Smith's crafting time change, uh, sorry, crafting time. Uh, the tooltip when you select something, when you uh, select a tree or a building, there's a little tooltip that appears with a little information. Um, uh, we reduce the time on that a little bit uh, just to you know, simplify the process and the, the, the UI. Uh, we added the panel. Bank house as a building, and of course the competition meta, which was bracelets and chandelier earrings. And for NFTs, there were several NFTs: the blueprint crafty copper pan inside, the June retention uh, NFT copper ore storage, the green forge, the arcane ring, and uh, thrifty foundry blueprints NFTs. So a bunch of bunch of things went into the game between additions, modifications, and fixes this week. So thanks to the team for that. And yeah, those are the updates. Um, Michelle? All right. What about what is coming next for the game? Mm. What is coming next? So, oh, before you go ahead, uh, Fulcrum, just a little thing. So I mentioned at the beginning, I see that some people have joined since then, but uh, we are uh, doing a particularly focused effort uh, in the next weeks to bring back all NFTs that didn't make the cut for May 1st um, when we released the Goloth version. Uh, we're fixing on, uh, some NFTs that have still some broken functionality like the Haunted Maze. Uh, we're going to fix some gameplay related bugs and uh, the, uh, well, so for example, what we did with fireworks, you'll see more of that uh, in, the, in the following week. So that's mainly what's coming next for the game, along with our other priorities that we done for mobile, which you've seen some changes already, and FTUE for an influx of new players that we're expecting at some point soon. Okay. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, there's there's been so much work that's gone out. Um, I've been uh, pretty much heads down on some of the stuff that's a little more uh, deeper, especially the uh, fast forward. So I'll, I'll describe just real quick some of the stuff that's uh, fixed and it's currently being tested and in QA. And, and I'll talk a little bit about some of the enhancements um, and then post some, uh, a couple screenshots into Discord. So um, four important fixes, like you already mentioned, Musashi, the leaderboard in sync with the town now. Um, for anybody who's curious, you know, uh, how, that, how that got fixed or why it was out of sync. Um, you know, you got thousands of people and thousands of transactions per second and all that. It it has to line up, and the, the saving of your town is different than this massive, you know, bubblegum wall of leaderboard updates. So there was some synchronizing we had to do there. Had to fix a, uh, there was a rare case where the server would crash when a player quit. Fix that. It's actually kind of hard to track down, hard to repro. Um, the important one for this week is if you connect to your town twice in two separate browsers. Um, the backend coordinates it now and kicks you out of your first session. 
Um, the intent one is that you're only supposed to play your town from one computer at one time. Sometimes people make honest mistakes, right? Um, the other is uh, if people don't want to do fast forward and they want to leave it running, you know, on their home machine or whatever, and they're like, oh, shoot, I forgot to turn it off. And they go to work. Um, it'll kick them off their home machine when they log in from work. Um, and the other was there was a rare case where uh, players could get, if you would start a fast forward and then you would close the browser because it was taking too long or you legitimately got network troubles or whatever, uh, there was a rare case where you would get actually locked out of that town. So we fixed that. Uh, those are the main like fast forward fixes. Um, some of the enhancements now that we're testing are, uh, again, this is about fast forwarding or offline mode, making sure that we don't send your rewards like stars, for example, and cash until the end of the fast forward. Um, there's just so many unique ways that you could abort a fast forward event. Um, had to really dig into a lot of those edge cases. So caching that, uh, waiting till it's done before sending a save. And um, <clears throat> we're also going to start keeping track in uh, greater detail uh, all the trades that people's towns make. Um, rather than just kind of batching it and things like that, it's going to, uh, if you've ever worked in like a high velocity, like um, billing system or something, it's similar to that. So think about transactional DBs and things like that. So uh, other things, uh, I'll just kind of skip over these real fast, improved authentication, quicker timeouts and all that. Uh, of course, we're optimizing it. Um, that's ongoing, right? Probably no end to that until it takes a millisecond to fast forward. Uh, let me share a quick little screenshot in chat of Volcronville sales log. Uh, maybe. So, that, so what you're going to see now, that little... Um, globe there i talked about this last week was you know we have to have a balance between a seamless play you know like you don't you don't want the game to freeze um if there's a network hiccup right until it's been reconciled but you also need to know when there's a, a legitimate like hey yes you're still connected to the server but there's trouble saving maybe the competition ended and there was a hiccup or something yeah so you will see thanks jetty so you will see the little globe with the warning it'll kind of blink and let you know what that means is, um, hey, yes, you're still playing. It's still server authoritative, um, but it saves are not happening. So um, rather than trying to fix 100% of all the edge cases where people were getting perceived rollbacks, we're just going to put a thing up there on the client that says, oh, man, look at all those fire reacts. This is great. Yeah, I know it was really painful for some people. That says, hey, a save has not occurred in, let's say, 90 seconds. Um, Warning, you know, basically refresh your game. So that's that's a big one that's important. And let me show you two towns real quick. Well, this is going to be a tiny screenshot. Um, this was me on the left. I loaded one browser. On the right, I loaded a second browser. I loaded the same town in two separate browsers. And if you hit, because we have, you know, I won't tell you the number, but we have quite a few back end servers. If you hit on the left, one server, and then you hit on the right a separate server. The coordination behind those is better now to say, okay, if you hit the same one, you'd get kicked out easily, like you'd do a gray screen. But if you happen to go across two, now the first one's going to be like, oh, I'm not authorized to save. Maybe something's going on. So you're going to get that little globe. Um, what this means is basically, again, you know, assuming the best of people, honest mistakes, maybe you had two browsers up or whatever. We don't want your towns overriding each other. We just kill that first connection. Um, yeah, and then, uh, oh, I think this is cute. I'm going to share this real quick. Uh, some people commented that they were like, oh, what? You know, it, the game looks frozen or whatever. So we just had this little spinner, uh, like a lot of games, especially like AAA uh, FPSs, even Skyrim, things like that. You will see stutter on the little spin as your machine loads all that stuff into RAM um, at, at the very end of the loading sequence there. Um, so TLDR, play in one window, one browser, you'll be okay. And uh, we're looking forward to getting fast forward through the testing and seeing it next week. Uh, back to you, Mr. Musashi or Farmer Michelle. Yeah, I think we're moving on to Q&A now. Um, I only propped up a couple of questions because we had a lot to talk about this week, so I wasn't sure how fast we were going to get through it. Hey, I just um, want to jump in real fast. Yeah. 
uh, I shared, so Gal's got a donut truck. I think it's outside the Hilton, San Diego. If you're in the area, stop by, say hello, get a free donut. Um, it's right by one of the major uh, convention center hotels. So uh, if you're there, have fun. If not, um, we all, we all, all of us who are not there wish we were there to have that donut too. All right. So the first Q and A question I have is about autocomplete uh, for co building construction when you're playing. It says, is there any reason to turn off the auto construction to give players the option to turn it on when it's ready to start the production? Yeah. So classic behavior, right? Um, yeah. We we want right now to th things to default to start working as soon as they're done completing. Uh, mostly for offline play was the biggest decision behind that. So, for example, you're going to build four warehouses or you're going to build four um, uh, wind uh, generators, pumps. Um, you want those to happen while you go offline. You don't want to be like, oh, shoot, it sat there for a few hours and didn't do anything. So that's our main thing. Maybe there will be a UI one day, but probably not. We want everybody to have the same options when they play. So uh, for now, that's staying how it is. All right. The next question I have here says, where is Townstar on the priority list of the Galachain team compared to other games? When can we expect Townstar to move over to Galachain? I'll jump in. Um, we are right there um, at near the top. I think everything is clear. The background tech is, is completed. So then it's just now just up to execution on the team. Uh, Pablo, uh, you want to talk about that? Toss it over to you. I... Let you continue. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'll sure. toss it over to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you, Sage. Uh, yeah. So as you know, um, is is it official? It's Gala Chain officially instead of what we yeah, call it. Yeah, that's it. That's the name, yeah. Gala Chain. Gala Chain. Yes, Gala Chain is the name, guys. So no more gear or any other name that we mentioned before. Um, we are working right now. Uh, working hard on the new light paper uh we even have a review pass today with the team so in preparation for the new earnings model we will line up the move to gala team sooner than expected uh we'll have more info on this next week but as you know we're also prioritizing the uh bugs and the issues that we mentioned before uh, this will be a separate effort but uh, expect gala chain to be available sooner than expected as soon as that expected. Um, hey, Rocket Unit, I saw your note there about helping review. What we're going to do is uh, do an internal review um, for the team, then uh, pull in other folks like Bitbender and everything. Uh, just get a general sanity check. Uh, some other folks as well, uh, like X Diablo. And then we'll share it out to, like we did the last one, probably platinum and gold. And everybody get a chance to review and then share publicly once we're really solid with that. Why is stage maker in cosplay as Mao? I'm cosplaying as Mao. You're not doing a very good job with the accent. If you are, oh. you gotta try a little bit harder. Oh, good God, no! I could never do that. <laughs> uh, Mao is unique. Mm -hmm. Mao is totally unique. Um, anyways, yeah, maybe I, because I just jumped into the middle of things. Who knows? Let's oh. move on to our next question. Let's move on. Yes. Let's move <laughs> forward. Uh, the next question I have here says, uh, where on the priority list sits the provision of an API for Townstar? If the team provides an API, the community will make a leaderboard. And that's most of the question. Yeah, I mean, we are providing the leaderboard, and that's one of the fixes that we're going to do. I know with, we know that there are some issues with it, but as we said before, we are prioritizing doing the OMFDs and fixing the current issues in the game, including the leaderboard. Uh, now, the leaderboard does work. Uh, when you have a finalized event, you, you can be sure that that's exactly the start that people got. So don't worry about that. But we will get to an API. It's just not our highest priority. As a first step, though, We'll, uh, we want to ask you guys about the functionality that you want from the API. I know that some people have mentioned different things. I just want to get a clear idea of what the priorities are in general for most people so we can concentrate on that. So um, we want to more directly work on the things that everyone wants, 
right? So expect Farmer Michel to do a poll or a form next week to try to gauge the interest on specific API calls that you guys want. So that's what I can, what I can say regarding that for now. Awesome. That's all I had for live questions. We flew through all of this very fast or, you know, pre-loaded questions. Are there any other live questions out here before we move on to leaks and stuff? Let's see. Anyone see any questions? Why is the game only two days from PD Renee? I'm guessing he means the uh, the current competition. Uh, yeah. So, um, go ahead. Usually it's three days. Uh, the reason that it's usually three days is because we do votes periodically and polls within the community, and that's what that's what won most recently, and what won in this one that we just did a few what, last week. We started a survey, and that again was seventy two hours was what the community wanted. So that's what we settled on. This one just happens to be one day shorter because we delayed the start day by one day, and we still wanted to make sure that we had time on Friday to push all the game updates and not have to do it over the weekend. So we left it to end on Friday, like usual. Hey guys, I have a request. Um, do you think maybe we can jump in and share art? Since I have this, uh, just for everybody in the audience, I have a, a large group of family members currently gathering at my house, uh, knocking on my door. I'm gonna have to jump go. off soon. Can I just jump the art in there? Jump, yeah, jump spots, put art in? Okay. But I should have had this ready to, to <laughs> should have had this ready just to drop in there. Um, okay, so we've got, oh my God, there's so much art. So much art to share today. Uh, let me just go ahead and start pulling these puppies up and I'll drop them in there one at a time so that you guys can see them. We've been talking about working on characters for a long time. So um, you can just can drop these puppies in there. You can see a lot of it is, you know, the work that happens there is really about making sure that we don't waste polys on stuff that people can't see. Um, you know, when we, you know, if you, you just, like focus on eyebrows and whatnot, you're like, well, how big is that going to actually be on the screen? And does that really matter? Or are we just going to end up flushing a bunch of performance down the tube with, you know, cracks on facial lines and, and everything like that? So a lot of work happening on that. Uh, and then also new sets of buildings coming online, uh, both concept art and also the modeling. I'm going to show you an example here of something that's that's interesting and give you a little bit of a background on what it's like to go from concept to uh, art. And we're going to go ahead and look at up this one here. Uh, so here is, we die, when we look at the Wild Clover, so on the left side was the old art, the right side is the concept, right? And then we send it out to the, the third-party house. They go ahead and do some modeling, and we get something that looks like that, which is very similar to the original concept art, but a little bit different um, and a little bit, in this case, it feels like a little bulky maybe. So part of the process we do is we create the concepts, send it to the art house. They do some work on it, then do another maybe one or two rounds back with them just to get it locked in. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's drop in some more here. Like I said, there's a lot of work that's happening, a lot of stuff happening pretty quick. And as we get lined up for... Um, really get lined up to drop in all this art, change the look of the game. Okay, here we go. And then some last final pieces here. Um, we are still working on, uh, still trying to get, let's get this big old piece of art loaded up there. Still working hard on getting the wizard tower to the right size and shape and proportion there. Um, it just is pretty much dominating the screen. You guys know what it, what it, how big it looks there on the screen. We were working, um, in fact, the last meeting we just had with Gina and the team was to try to figure out how do we shrink that size down there, right? How do we get that to give you a little bit more uh, view space on the on the on the game board? Also, make it a little easier to click around behind it. Um, and then, you know, the other thing that most people don't think about if we're ever going to create, I don't know airships, blimps, planes, or stuff like that that fly over the board, when you have a massively giant tower in the middle of it, oh, that creates so much issues for um, unwanted intersections and weird light pathfinding issues. So anyways, that's all the art that we have there to share with everybody. A lot of good work happening behind the scenes. 
um, a lot of work uh, going to try to get this stuff fixed up and ready for everybody. And that's all I got there, guys. That looks amazing. Awesome. Yeah, it does. Uh, were there any other live questions here in the chat before we move on? I was trying to pay attention as I was trying to pin art. I didn't see any questions. I don't see. At least no one tagged me in any questions. I get the cosplay reference now to Mal, Manuel. The picture there. With Palpatine. The one that I love, Mal, would always pop up there. Make me laugh every single time. Um, I see anybody, a oh, question I from Peace of Mind. Sorry, I was talking. trying to read questions. <laughs> LV Postman said that I didn't answer his question, but then didn't repost the question, so I don't know what the question was. I was just trying to find it. Um, I've got one from Peace of Mind asking if the time of day toggle will be in next week or not. I don't think so. Know? Yeah, I, ha I haven't seen that in the, anybody's uh, priority list for this week. Yeah, I think we're prioritizing old stuff like we've been talking about, so we're getting no old NFTs fixed and getting all of that done before we move on to any other new stuff again. So you may just have to be patient while we do old stuff. We can't do, we can't do all of it at the same time, guys. <laughs> if we could just snap our fingers and make it all happen, believe me, we would. I see. I see a question from, I don't know. My Discord is minimizing people's names, so all I see is the letter P that asks if the leaderboard is accurate. And yes, the leaderboard is accurate. There's a question from Zeke asking if we can get an auto build to test our builds. Uh, I don't think there's anything like that in the plans to like have a server where you can speed it up really fast and just auto build your towns. Don't think that there's a plan for that. Any other live questions? Next meta we already said was cakes. This one next meta will be fancy cake. The one after that will be decorated cake. Yes, Tantrum, I see your feature request. That's not really a question. It is a feature request. Please put it in the feature request form. That's what it's there for. All right, let's move on. Um, I think that we're moving on to Masashi. I think he's got some stuff to talk about. Yeah, just a little thing. I mean, I think you guys already seen what's been leaked uh, in Discord, but uh, let's just... Let's just put it here. Let's see. Um, so you've been seeing the uh, the great escape going on. Uh, you probably seen the leak already from the store. So I'll just go ahead for it, which is uh, Clack of Steel, the super chicken. Right. So this is what we made in commemoration for the San Diego Comic Con 2023. And well, basically, it's like in a faraway galaxy orbiting a red sun planet, Exeron, it's dying, right? As a last resort, two grieving parents say goodbye to their egg as they place in a rocket, hoping it will reach its destination. The rocket crash landed in a farmer's field, and the egg hatches dramatically as the farmer approaches it with a chicken. It's a it's a very sublime. It's okay. Being <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so the farmer raised it as his own when they discovered that this chicken was special. The yellow sound of this farming themed world gave the chicken superpowers. And the chicken made a name for himself as superhero, gaining the name Super Chicken and Clock of Steel. So when this Super Chicken is in town, his majestic presence and deep sense of justice inspires all chickens. Uh, to work harder and be faster. Uh, let me put something here. So here's the super chicken. This is, uh, as I said before, in commemoration for the San Diego Comic Con. Um, we'll have some information later, but I can tell you that uh, people who attend the event uh, get us um, a, a, like a particular drop of it 
uh, it's just as you know, it doesn't have differences in the stats, but it's uh, it's unique to the people who attend the event. And here you can see it as it will look in game. I hope you guys can check that out. That neat little video. So we have this little super chicken uh, on top of a little skyscraper. <laughs> so this is a one fourth by one fourth um, NFT. Uh, you can place it anywhere in town. And um, as I said before, it will use l very little space. And it will basically just speed up your chickens because they feel his deep sense of justice and feel so empowered. Uh, so I expect more deal details in a, in a little while. And yeah, that's the background of our super chicken. I think uh, the art team did a great job. Um, everyone did a great job. Gina and, uh, uh, you know, Wanda Jen. Uh, Warmack. It came out really great. Hope you guys love it. When will Turkey's Turkey skin work? That's part of the uh, effort that we're doing in the next weeks, bringing back all the old content. Thank you for the question, LB Postman. And uh, yeah, that's super chicken. So uh, back to you, Mito. All right. Somehow I have lost my second screen. So I can't see anything. Are you there? Did we lose Farmer Mitchell? Uh, sounded like her other monitor. Oh, <laughs> look at that <laughs> from No Free Lunch. <laughs> Farmer Michelle, are you okay? <laughs> are you still with us? Can you hear me now? We yeah. can. Hey, out of both of my computer screens are black, so now I'm back on my cell phone again. But at least you can hear me. I don't oh, know what's gosh. next because I can't see our document. So someone else is going to have to take over my running the show. Uh, Bulkram, you want to give it a go? Yeah, sure. Um, actually, it's uh, it's a question for Farmer Michelle. Um, oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, asking, like, what do you think about ways uh, to make the game easier for new players? What do you think mm. would be something people would like? That's tough. First time user experience is big. I know the game definitely could use some some improvement in that area for when we start to get a lot more new players in. I know previously things we've done, see, we had the we had the guide for how to make gasoline, but it only did that one run through, and then you were kind of just left to your own. We also gave, I think, new accounts for their first town, like an extra 100,000 in-game cash. But then if you ruined your first town, you could only do it that one time. So hopefully in the future, we'll have it so that maybe you can do a tutorial more than once, or maybe we'll have a special tutorial mode. I think that would probably be a great idea. I don't know how the community feels about that, but mm. if we had just like a tutorial server that had guides on it. Oh, that'd be cool. I feel like that's pretty common in a lot of games where they just have like a space where you can go to do tutorials. What about um, some starter towns that come equipped with, you know, the refineries and water pumps and all that to make gas? Yes, that would also be super cool because then you could just see right when you started playing what like a gasoline setup would look like. Mm -hmm. What even what a couple of different ones might look like so that you kind of get the picture because I feel like Town Star is a big visual game at least for me I know I learned visually so seeing something built it, it makes more sense to like see it run and see the units walk around and see where they go and what they do and how they craft things so coming in as a new player and seeing that would definitely be helpful I'm sure interesting if, okay. if you all out there in the community have any suggestions for the best ways you think to do things like first time user experience or what guides you think would be most helpful, what helped you the most when you first started playing, definitely send us some messages. I'll take all the DMs with any suggestions because we're going to start working on that pretty soon. That's awesome. Add something to that, that actually be really helpful for content as well. So um, I could definitely look to make some stuff with that as well. So yeah, it'd be really awesome to get some tips. Yeah, that would be fun to have a uh, try out this NFT before you buy it kind of a a thing like a sandbox town or starter town that has, you know, a particular NFT or a few NFTs that week. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's see. Next up. Um, I think we might. Are we already? We did the leaks. Where are we? I, I was, know we did art leaks, but I don't think we did any other leaks. Um, I'm not sure what other leaks are on the list now because I can't see my computer screen. But I think so, that we've got yeah, competition yeah. leaks, right? <laughs> so before that, let's get onto what's actually going on sale. Uh, we have this uh, feedback from you guys sometimes that we end this with the sale items and then you have doubts and we're not here to answer them. So uh, I think we need to get into that. So I, I already mentioned the super chicken. I gave the intro for that. Uh, so that will be on sale. Uh, guess that I will give the details in a minute. But we have a second item. Um, as you know, we're doing cake. And you have a, a bunch of NFTs for cakes. But we're also using a little something in case you want to have a little edge for them. Uh, so we have a uh, something called Bright Queen, right? So this will be a shining symbol of your technological prowess in town. And it's basically a, a, a window, right? So, Kesera, what information do you have on Brightwing and on Super Chicken? Uh, let's start with the safe NFTs. So, first off, uh, you've seen the awesome art uh, that Gina has done. Uh, first up is coming the Super Chicken. It's a rare NFT that when you place it, it will inspire your chickens and you're moving 20% faster. It will be priced at $60 and uh, it will have a 25% discount. So it will cost you $45 until the end of the competition. And it's a unique effect, so it will not stack. Uh, that's first. Now coming to the second one. Second is the bright wind. You know, this is something that players have been asking for for a long time. We are just doing it a little bit differently than what you guys wanted. Uh, so the bright wind is a windmill NFT and no amount of shade can hinder its speed. It will be a platinum NFT. Uh, there will be 300 supply of it, but only 200 of it will be in the store. It is priced at $625, but it will have two 20% discount until the end of the competition. Uh, so those are all the NFTs. Apart from this, I wanted to, to talk a little bit more about uh, what you can expect in the future. As we said before, uh, we have about three months of jewelry content planned, and uh, we are trying to figure out what else we can do alongside it. So here's what we know right now. Uh, we still have 10 more weeks of jewelry content, but instead of it coming over the next few weeks, uh, you can see it is passed out over the next six months. So over the next six months, there will be at least 10 more weeks of jewelry content. Other than that, well, we are figuring things out. We've gotten a lot of feedback about doing uh, uh, multi-metas, but as you know, that's a little bit hard. Uh, so we are uh, figuring out whether or not that will be possible or we could do interesting takes on older metas like we did uh, with Red Steel if I'm not wrong uh, very soon we will be rolling out a survey to hear from you guys which metas you love the most what variations you would like to see uh, so please do vote over there I think that's all I have now I'll pass it back to Michelle I think Michelle is still experiencing yeah, I'm having, issues, right? Yeah, I'm, my computer is slowly turning itself back on. It's okay. Let's go on to leaks. So you've already seen the art leak. And uh, so we're going to the next competition uh, information. So let me see. Uh, Michelle, you can't see what we have. So maybe I can mention it. Go for it. Got it. So we're going to do... Give this one second. I have it right here. So next competition, as you know, is cake. Now, what cake specifically? Uh, right in it, right here. One second. So it's fancy cake. Um, that will be information in here. Uh, sorry. Okay, there it is. So next competition is fancy cake. And um, the biome will be forest east, and your edges will be uh, forest north, forest east, ocean south, and west, uh, and river in the west. Your initial cash will be 25,000. Uh, the trade uh, gas will be one gas. The trade time will be 120 seconds um, for both uh, land and water. 
and there will be a cash boost for sugar and egg. So that's the information. Uh, it will be posted uh, later, but I'll repeat. The biome is forest. Uh, there's an ocean and a river. And um, the time is 120 seconds. And sugar and egg are cash boosted. The information uh, or the text are there. In the uh, I sent a message with the um, card for the competition. You'll see it in the game in a few hours. And uh, after that, uh, there's a reminder that we have the silver ore storage NFT, um, of course, for the, for the month of July. Uh, so that's the next one. Uh, you know the rule, how to get it. So just play the game as much as you can, and you'll get uh, better silver ore storage depending on how much you play. So I think those are our leaks. Anyone else has anything else to leak or any information you want to give? I see a question in the Discord wondering what the NFT prize was for this competition that ends in a couple hours. I don't believe it was ever announced. For the I, current yes. competition? No, go yeah. ahead, Kisela. Uh, okay, Sarah, are you there? Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, yes, the prize for this week's competition is going to be Crafty Copper uh, Knowledge. Uh, it's uh, like it's a blueprint that will reduce the crafting time of copper in your forges as well as it will reduce the crafting time of copper jump rings in your foundries. Let's see. So I have something right here. Uh, where is it? Crafty Copper. Let's see. Yep. So here's the crafty copper in all its versions. Uh, can you see it in this group? Sure can. Yes. So that's the reward for the current competition. More details uh, in the Discord soon. I guess I gave the information on how it works. But um, oh, there's a question there. Does it work on Coppersmith F? Uh, no, it does not work on copper with NFT. So, whatever. Okay, cool. So, well, those are our leaks. Uh, we can jump on to uh, last questions. Do we see any comments or questions in Discord, guys? I don't see any currently. Uh, peace of mind. Uh, I know that, um, let me read this question, might help learn for advanced users too, can we keep town which we build in the comp and move it over to the, the casual server? I'm pretty sure that when I was chatting with Volcron the other day, we were talking about APIs for that, so that may be a thing in the future. Whether or not it will be available for everybody, I don't know, but that is something we have talked about. Yeah, there's definitely Yes, Rob, this NFT is recorded. Sorry. Yeah, there's definitely those those quality of life things we want to add. You know, uh, it does take time to build your town up, and having uh, bookmarked towns or uh, being able to view your friends' towns or share your build with other people. The, uh, those are things we've considered. Um, it's not currently in in progress, but uh, it's a possibility. I could say that it's not an unreasonable ask. Um, yes, Ra, the AMA is being recorded. We'll get it uploaded to YouTube. Uh, it may take a couple days, so just bear with us. I'll try to get the recording posted in the Discord as soon as it ends. What other questions we got? Uh, there's a question about mobile fixes. I know that we're, there are mobile fixes that go in periodically. Uh, mobile is, is a priority. I don't know. I don't know if we talked about mobile at all today in this AMA. A little bit. I mean, there are some fixes going in. We have some bugs that are being, uh, well, we're fixing are being tested now. Uh, we expect to release something uh, by Tuesday, potentially, with some more fixes to different bugs that affect mobile devices. Um, so, yeah, just, we keep on working on that.
<clears throat> See, Ra asked a question like? about the yeah. Ra asked a question about the toggle again for the, the time of day. Um, we're currently focusing and prioritizing older bugs and older NFTs and making every sh making sure everything is there like it's supposed to be and getting closer to parity. So feature requests like adding a toggle for time of day got pushed back a bit so that we could do those old things first. But it is still on the list for the future. Yeah. Also, we did some. Uh... We did make some tweaks to time of day. Some people already uh, saw them. I saw in this year they were commenting on that a couple of days ago. Basically, we uh, changed the transition times, right? So before it was saying, oh, the, the, like the, the shadows are moving too fast when you transition. So we extended that. Now it's way slower. Um, if you think it should be even slower, we can do it. The toggle is something that we'll have to work on later um, after we fix other stuff in the game. Uh, but we can change the parameters in time of day. I see that some people are asking for longer times for, you know, midday. Um, so those are things that we can do very quickly. So, yeah, anything that you think can uh, improve the look of it, uh, let us know. I see Smoogie saying, when more jewelry? Uh, soon. Uh, we'll, as I said before, at the beginning I mentioned this, but... We're doing two competitions of uh, two weeks of cake competition. Um, and the plan is to uh, get to some cadence where we are bringing back old competitions and mixing them in with new competitions and new content. So expect jewelry made up, uh, um, you know, in a couple of, of weeks or something like that. Not necessarily immediately after cake. Uh, maybe we'll bring back something that people have asked for before, <laughs> before that. Uh, but yeah, we'll be mixing them in. So expect more more jewelry pretty soon. I don't see any other questions. Peace of mind asking for basically a sales log, which people keep asking for as well. We'll definitely look into it. Uh, it's it's not it's not a priority. When no NFT competition, and the first thing is uh, I see as reaction is across. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about no NFT competition? That is a great question to ask the community. I would love to hear what people feel about it because I have my personal speculations as to what people think about it. But I see one off. Oh, I see people going back to the time of day and the time uh, midday in time of day is a little bright. We can change that, so we'll work on that. Um, I see Duber asking about Galachain. We talk about Galachain. We're gonna go back uh, a little bit in the AMA in the recording later. Uh, what else? No NFT. We would not know what to do without NFT. <laughs> so I see some uh, mixed feelings here about uh, uh, no NFT or some NFTs or whatever. So we'll we'll probably do a poll uh, later on uh, to ask about that. So um, yeah, I'll make sure I put it in the next survey. I've got another one coming out probably early next week, depending on how long it takes me to make it and how much time I have on Sunday. Got it. What about something in the in between? What if we do something like I don't know, these ten NFTs can be used, and nothing more. Is that something you guys might be interested in? An NFT limit. Mm. That would be fun to coordinate if you had to if you had fifteen NFTs you wanted to use and you had to pick them up and put them down. You'd have to pay attention all the time. I see a lot of no, <laughs> no, all or nothing on the Limit. What about a competition where the winners are always the same? What? Okay. Uh, question. When treasures transfer will be fixed for at least faster process to refund ETH. 
Uh, that's uh, not a game specific question. Like we don't control that part. Peace of mind. Uh, you can reach out to uh, you know, a specific team on the store. Yeah, if you're having issues with minting things from your treasure chest still, which should be resolved at this point, if you're still having issues, definitely reach out to customer support and they'll put you on the list to look into your account to, to make sure everything is okay. Um, but once we move to uh, Gala Chain, you won't have to worry about that much anymore. So hopefully that'll all happen. I see two competitions move, on. move, move one-fourth of the prize pot for the current competition to... Oh, so you're saying 75% of the current competition uh, rewards stay in the competition, and after that, there's a no NFT competition with 25%. Immediately, I see a cross in that. <laughs> so I see that there are so many, uh, you know, different opinions here in the community. I will take all the feedback. Michelle will ask, um, uh, we'll give a survey for different things, as I said before. We want to know your opinion on what do you want an uh, API calls to do? Right, and also what uh, what kind of competitions we can do? No NFT, some NFT, all NFTs, and so on. So we want to we want to know your opinion. Uh, we want to know what things you think are uh, broken. We've got a list for that and start working on that. So yeah, I think that we're on time. So unless we got anything else to talk about, I think it's time to sign off. Sounds good to me. Yeah, wait, wait. Everybody um, have a great Friday. Aaron 1050, I got serious speed in this this week, so thank you. I see a bunch of comments around that. So that's what the server optimization in the in, uh, the change log, like two releases ago, was about. So um, we keep on in, improving that. So thank you, everybody, for your patience and for keep on testing uh, the game and providing feedback on what's going on. So glad to see that a lot of people are seeing no speed in this this week. Cool. Then uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. Lots of info. Get uh, use that coupon. is available until Monday, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. Bye, Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Take care.